Brooke Rogerson. I'm an artist here at Caring Arts, and today we're going to be making bubble art. This is a project for all ages, requires minimal supplies, and even makes a fantastic outdoor activity for kids. So if you're ready to get messy, enjoy the sunshine, make some unique art, and keep on watching. All right, so here's what you'll need for the project. First, an old t-shirt that you don't mind getting dirty, some dish soap, a shallow dish, some acrylic paint, and if you have little ones, please use non-toxic or washable kid-friendly paint. Uh, some straws. I have coffee stirrers on hand, but if you have even bigger ones, they'll make even better bubbles. And some paper towels to protect any surface you're using. Alright, now it's time to make your bubble paint mixture. So, first things first. Pick a color. I think today I'm going to do a bright blue. And you want to do one part paint, one part dish soap, and then two parts water. So first, and then add around a tablespoon of paint. Add a tablespoon of dish soap. And then add a little bit of water at a time. Stir it up. You can always adjust as you go. I actually think I need a little bit more dish soap. I think I might add a splash of green in there too. And a little bit more water. There you go. Even when you're stirring, you might end up getting some paint on you, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. I love the minty color that I'm making with that really pretty. It's almost like a Tiffany blue. All right, time to make some bubbles. First, take your straw. I'm going to take two so I can make more bubbles and blow. Take some heavy duty watercolor paper and there's two ways you can do this. You can either do like a karate chopping, slicing motion with your paper or gently press it down on the bubbles. If you're going to do the pressing motion, it's going to take a couple tries to get it to the opacity you want. But the slicing motion is going to leave some really vibrant colors on the edges of your paper.
Okay, I think I'm finished with my piece and I'm gonna allow it to dry. And I just wanted to show you a few examples you can do at home. In this one, I used two different colors and I really love how it turned out. And this one, I cut out a stencil of the Little Mermaid and traced it and then I simply filled it in with black marker. And I think the bubbles look really nice with this stencil. And in this one, I did not like the back, so I simply turned it over, started a new one, and I loved how this one turned out, especially this big bubble right here. So if you try this project, please share pictures with Caring Arts. I'd love to see them. Stay safe, and have a good day.